former Holyoke star Ali Bastian has opened up about the terrifying moment her daughter Isla was rushed to hospital after suffering a severe allergic reaction. Holyoke's Ali Bastian has opened up about her daughter's terrifying hospital dash, revealing the moment she turned blue and floppy. The actress, known for her role in the popular soap, noticed her daughter Isla's skin was covered in eczema and that she was in discomfort, which raised alarm bells despite the challenges of seeking advice during COVID-19 restrictions. Isla had severe eczema at eight weeks and was covered head to toe. She was a very colicky, uncomfortable baby. I was just like, what's happening to my child? Ali confided to OK Magazine. The situation escalated when Ila's eczema worsened, prompting Ali to consult a dermatologist via Zoom. But when the eczema really took flight, I knew that something wasn't right. I had a Zoom dermatologist appointment and looking at her on Zoom, he said, I think this is an early indicator of food allergies that you should go and see an allergist. Following the professional advice, four-month-old Isla underwent allergy tests, which confirmed allergies to peanuts, milk, and egg. Ali, aged 42, embarked on early weaning with Ayla, but it was far from straightforward. We were encouraged to do early weaning with her, and when we started the weaning journey, other allergies started showing up. Unfortunately, she had a very severe reaction to wheat. Ali recounted, reports OK. I was EpiPen trained straight away, which was pretty terrifying. I remember being in the hospital and being taught how to use an EpiPen and going into the street with wide eyes, thinking, what on earth am I going to do? How do I cope with this? I had no experience of it. However, as they continued with the weaning process, another horrific incident ensued that left Ali terrified. Isla suffered a major reaction to wheat when she was five months old, causing them to rush her to the hospital. Suddenly, I had a child who was profusely vomiting to the point of systemic shutdown. She was blue and floppy. We were rushed into hospital in an ambulance, Ali recalls. The treatment for that is IV fluids. But when it's a baby with those symptoms, they also assume it might be sepsis. So she was being treated for sepsis too. Luckily, she did bounce back quite quickly from that. But it was absolutely terrifying. Regrettably, just a week later, Isla had another frightening reaction two hours after her meal, and it was revealed that she was allergic to sesame as well. Fast forward four years, Isla has thankfully grown out of her wheat allergy. She remains allergic to peanuts, milk, egg, sesame, cashews and pistachios, however. With these ingredients cropping up in lots of everyday meals, Ali has been forced to confront the constant anxiety of meticulous food safety checks, I know how fraught with anxiety life is as an allergy parent, so I don't want to feed people's anxieties when a lot of the work as an allergy parent is about building confidence and finding ways that you can continue to enjoy a rich social life and have that for your child. But it can be really difficult, she admits. As a parent, you're often in a state of real hypervigilance that can be quite exhausting and can lead to its own sort of burnout. She further adds, We've only been to one wedding, and it was the first time she'd met some of her family, and she loved it. We don't do Christmas with everybody anymore. Upon discovering Isla's allergies, Ali has embarked on oral desensitization, a treatment involving the administration of minute amounts of food that Isla is allergic to, gradually increasing the quantity, and it's proving successful. She elaborates, it's not an easy road, but it's working really well for her. It was very frightening at the beginning and continues to be. Considering the daily strain of monitoring for allergies for Ali, it's all about celebrating small victories and fostering the confidence to engage in normal activities that other families might take for granted.